Are you struggling to find app ideas so you can put on your portfolio as an Android developer? In this video, I'm going to share with you five ideas you can develop so you can put on your Android portfolio. Let's get started. So my good friends and welcome back to the channel, always with Dini Sharfewi. In this video, I'm going to share with you five ideas so you can implement on your own as a project for Android portfolio. Let's get started. So the first idea, which is showing the GitHub user profiles. Okay, it is pretty simple app. So the basic idea is that the user will type a username, GitHub username, and then what you will do, you will check in the REST API whether there is this username. If there is, you get the information. Pretty simple. Now you can extend this app to use some visual cool things. For example, you can show multiple information, the top repositories, for example, number of stars, the badges, like you can do whatever you want. And also you can save those profiles into the database, which is also a cool opportunity to showcase your skills in the database, right? And you can extend this to great limits, for example. Here is, for example, an example of the API. It's a simple JSON. It's returning my profile in the favorite here. You can see here is a login, here is a node, here is the avatar ID. You can even get the images like the following. You can see the bio, the username of, of Twitter, for example, the number of following, the followers, the number of repositories and stuff like that. So this is really a cool thing in order to show your skills, both for remote and local uh, data sets. Okay. The second app idea you can implement, which is simply a movie app in which you display the movies. For example, you can display a movie, a trailer of this movie, for example, and here there are many, many APIs you can check, right? So this is a simple one. There is actually good implementation by my friend, uh, Fernando Sejas. It's a good one. Here is the repository. You can check it from Fernando Sejas here. This is an implementation of movie sample, but the demonstration is about clean architecture. Okay, so you can see this is the, the, the app and then you click on a movie and you can see some details about it. You can watch trailer, you can simply go to a simple uh, web browser, right? So here, this is great implementation you can check out in order to create your own movie Android application. The third app we have on our list, which is simply a chat app, okay? Of course, our list wouldn't be complete without a chat app. Now, the idea behind a chat app is that you create an environment in which it's not just inserting things and inserting things into database and getting them. It's not just about that, but creating, for example, a real-time chatting, right? This is a cool feature. For example, you can use sockets here. You can use Firebase, a real-time database. So you can get the sense of using real-time stuff. There are also cool repositories you can check to get a sense of the implementation. Famous app is from Stream, right? It has Stream Chat API. You can check it. You can get an inspiration from this kind of repositories. For example, using their design, using their screens. You can get a lot of understanding and a cool way to start by using this repositories. I will put all the repositories down below. Number four on our list simply is a calorie counter. Okay. Now you can make this app as local, right? But the idea behind this application is to introduce, for example, modifications and also the use of work manager or, for example, alarm manager, okay? So each time, for example, you can uh, give the user the ability to change the parameter of from, from which time to time you are going to ask him about whether he ate something or not, for example, right? So every time you can display a notification, you can count the calories, you can set the maximum, for example, and then you can count and then you can store each day calories. For example, this is the assumption that the user already know what is the number of calories. This is not the same as my fitness ball, for example, the fitness ball application. So each time you accumulate data and then you can display the data in form of charts. So this is also a good opportunity to show charts, for example, and also report. So with this kind of application, you can unleash the power of your creativity to display and to implement many things. So it is really up to you. Here is an old project, you can check it. It's called Stay Fit, right? And the app has some set of features, for example, measure daily fitness, graphical statistics, as I told you, for example, and many other stuff. You can check it here. They have a startup screen, and then they can the user can enter some information, and then you can do other stuff. For example, adding the food, for example, like many, many other stuff. This is this is depending on your creativity. So that's idea number four. The final app idea I have for you, which is simply an app clone, okay? This app clone means you are going to create the exact same application such as, such as Instagram, Twitter, for example, YouTube, I don't know, GitHub, if you can do so. GitHub is a little bit difficult because it has the editors and everything. But I mean, like even YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, for example, WhatsApp are challenging. So this is, will be one of the biggest projects you can create because in this kind of application, well, I know you don't have this kind of uh, YouTube API, Twitter API, but you can simulate that with some kind of in-memory 
data, right? But with this kind of application, you can implement many things. For example, you can deal with background work, for example, services, syncing, a UI, good UI, for example, local databases, remote databases, and stuff like that. Okay, so this is, and, and the beauty is that there is many, many implementations of this clones or most of the clones here are clones of the UI, but I don't want you just to use the UI. I want you also to have some kind of inner data processing, right? You are not going to implement the same thing as YouTube is doing because the business logic there is a little bit hidden. So you can't know what is happening behind the scenes exactly, but you can get a rough idea on how to implement such big apps, okay? So these are five app ideas you can develop and add to your portfolio. So you can get, I don't know, for example, an interview you want or the job you want, or at least practice your skills. And here is a one a bonus tip. So try to implement them with Jetpack Compose as this will increase your chance to have an up-to-date portfolio. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching this video to the end. If you didn't subscribe to my newsletter, please subscribe below. This is the Productive Developer Newsletter in which every week I share one productive tip you can use to improve your productivity as a developer. Thank you very much and see you in the next videos. Assalamu alaikum.